pry bars, wire cutters, um, barrel cleaning rods, tow cables, uh, the cables to reattach the main drive tracks. We've got to detail paint each and every one of them. Keep it simple guys. Um, for the most part, all the metal parts uh, can be black. I use um, 862, 168 position uh, Vallejo black gray. I like the black gray. I use that for all the metal pieces. The axe head, the sledgehammer head, the shovel, the big pry bar, and the uh, wire cutter. Now the wire cutter you got to be careful because it had a Bakelite handle. And Bakelite should be either a rusty red brown, a reddish rusty red brown, or a gloss black. I'm going to use a gloss black on these. Um, this is wood, this is wood, this is wood, and for wood we're going to use uh, Iraqi sand which is gives a really nice rendition of the beech wood that the Germans used for all their equipment. I've seen some equipment painted. I guess if it was on painted while it was camouflaged in the field and the stuff was left on then yeah your tools could be left on. I would think that they you know at least took the time to pull the tools off uh, give the tank a clean before the camouflage. And besides to me it looks a little crisper and cleaner. There's a little bit of artistic license involved in painting all these. It just it gives the model a little bit more um, depth as my buddy Bill would say. A little bit more fidelity of detail which um, which is cool. So we're going to get after that. We're going to paint all these and uh, in this case I'm using a Zero Newton University Windsor Newton brush. Uh, not a bad brush. These are nice little brushes. Um, whatever works is zero or one, you know, don't 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 stress it guys. I usually start out with the wood because it takes one uh, one good coat and don't forget your wooden block, your jack block on these uh, German tanks. So we'll start, we'll, we'll give a, everything a quick coat of uh, wood first, give it on the first coat and then we will uh, go and do the uh, metal parts. Uh, quick little notice, quick little talk about the German fire extinguishers. I have seen pictures of them red, I have seen them green, I have seen them dark armor yellow, I have seen them left on and sprayed the same color. I've seen the straps is in chrome in different colors so do your research, do your due diligence, figure out what you want to make the fire extinguisher look like. I've been just basically uh, leaving the um, straps as a uh, body color and painting the um, fire extinguisher body in a dark armor yellow and go from there. Alright guys let's get some painting done. Okay we got the uh, all the tan painted, all the uh, wood Done up with a couple thin coats. Like I said, just thin coats, couple three coats. Uh, thin the paint out with the put your Vallejo paint in a little thing like this. I picked this up at uh, I can't remember. I think it was uh, somewhere for a couple of bucks. They they do work really good. Just soak it with a little bit of Super Clean or Purple Power overnight, and uh, they paint lifts right up, and you can wash it out the next day. So same thing, just a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of uh, water in the black gray. I uh, don't use jet black on this, it's just a little bit too harsh. Um, for the metal work you can add a little bit of silver highlight afterward if you want. Oh, I'm probably not even in frame there. Uh, kind of tough doing detail painting on the computer and filming it at the same time. But uh, you get the idea here. Let's just get this axe head here. And uh, I've been wearing magnifiers now for a couple of years and I can't even think about building models without magnifiers. I just, there's just no way my eyes will focus that close anymore at 52. So uh, there you have it. Then we'll just we'll do all the metal parts. I just do all the metal parts in, in this black gray just so you can get an idea of what it's like here. So we'll fill in all the rest of these and we'll come back. Okay, let's go over some detail painting here of where we're at so far in this puppy. The tow cables and all the Pioneer tools, all the metal work were, was done in uh, Vallejo 862 Black Gray, position 168. Uh, includes the tow hooks, the um, barrel cleaning rods were done in Iraqi Sand 819, position 124. The jack, I've seen the jack a multitude of different colors. I've seen it in black, black gray. Um, dark armored sand, dunkel gleb, uh, black green. So I chose to do something a little different. I used 980 Vallejo black green. That's position 100. Uh, that is the 20 ton jack. Now the um, 
tow hook ends and the fire extinguisher. Fire extinguishers, I've seen them in green, dark armored yellow, uh, brass, green, every color under the sun. So I chose to do that in, where is it here? Uh, there we are, number 914 green ochre, which gives a really good rendition of dark armor, early dark armor yellow. Uh, we did the end tow hook in, uh, tow hook ends or tow tow uh, cable ends, and the fire extinguisher and that, and then silver chrome for the other handle and the end of it. As seen, I've seen it in chrome and in brass. So there we have it. All the Pioneer tools and all the detail painting is done on this, and we also used a um, plain um, uh, RLM. Uh, 9005 RLM 22 which is 950 black and that was the uh, little bit of um, handles on the wire cutters and on the handle of the jack uh, to show Bakelite the glossy black bake backlight Bakelite so that pretty much has it I see that we've got a little bit of tow cable on the other side I've got to match up then we need to paint the um, the tracks, the tracks on the turret, and then of course the tracks down here. So let's get those done. Okay, let's do some tracks. We've got the single links on the side and we've got the tracks to do. What we're going to be using here are my favorite um, colors for tracks and that is Vallejo Surface Primer Black and Surface Primer RAL8012 German Red Brown. Awesome primer colors and uh, awesome track colors. So it's pretty damn simple. I try and keep everything I do simple. Because gosh darn it, life's more difficult enough without making your hobby simple. So we just decant some of that, give it a good shake. I have to admit I am warming to this shit. Slowly but surely. I'm going to use a older wire out brush for this. A little bit of water, mix it all up until it's kind of a muddy black color. Yeah, we'll go with a little more black than uh, than red on this one. So, what we need to do, this is going to be rather difficult on screen, but we will give it a roll. This is already been sprayed with um, black, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly give the whole thing a paint just like that. And um, to try and get this done quickly and without dicking too much stuff up, I am going to turn the camera off now. Okay, we got this puppy all detail painted up. The uh, tracks are all painted, tow, tow cables, barrel cleaning rods, all the Pioneer tools, all the wood, everything's all detail painted up. Uh, next step now is to let this cure off for at least 12 hours. The acrylic paint is pretty good. Um, this um, MIG stuff seems to be fairly tough. But you still you want to let it cure and set for at least 24 hours. Uh, 12 to 24, you may you know 24 you may not have to be you know 12 hours should do it. Tomorrow morning should do it. So the next step is we're going to put some clear coat on this. We're going to be using uh, Tamiya Clear Gloss Clear. Then we're going to decal it and let that cure. Then we're going to start weathering this.